Today we are going to take up uh, eight standard mathematics uh, first unit playing with numbers. When we say numbers, what comes to our mind? The numbers that we use in our daily life. For example, the numbers that we use from the morning. The, what, what time do we get up in the morning? Let us say 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6.30. Suppose we travel from home to school with the help of a bus. Bus has a number. So the bus is identified with the number. Suppose we are watching television, the channel number, the date, your birth date, your age, the weight of a person, all are represented using numbers. The use of numbers is not a new idea. It was practiced from long days, from Vedic periods, from stone ages, I can say. How man started using the technique of counting is of utmost importance. The concept of counting was the first step in mathematics. When we started counting how many sheets we had, just to count how many items we had, we used to use numbers. Suppose I write numbers on the board. So these are the numbers. To be exact, I can say these are the symbol of numbers. This one is the symbol to represent the value of one. Similarly, this is the symbol to represent the number two. Similarly, there are other digits up to nine. So these are what you see all these things. These numbers, when we use in mathematics, it has its value. I need to say the number two has double the value of one. That is the basic idea of mathematics, numbers and mathematics. So, I was talking about the, uh, the use of numbers in our daily life. We represent so many things using numbers. Uh, the rupee value, the uh, money that we pay to others, the money that we get from others, uh, it will be, it will carry a value. For example, 100 rupees, it will carry a value. To represent 100, I use these symbols. One, of course, the zero is also a very important value. Suppose I want to represent 100, I write 1 followed by two zeros. So this becomes 100. So the numbers that we, uh, I have written on the board, this is called as a decimal number system. You may be wondering why we are using a 10 digit representation or a decimal number system. It's very simple. If you see, we have 10 fingers. Just because we have 10 fingers, we can represent the position of each finger with the digit of the number. I mean, suppose I am counting, suppose I am counting, I call this as 1, this is 2, 3, 4, etc. up to 10. So, if you look at the board, the numbers which are here, 0 to 9, there are 10 digits. This is the first one, 0. And the last one is 9. To write the number called 10, Suppose I have to write number 10. What do I do? I write 1 followed by 0. Suppose I have to write 52. I use 5 followed by 2. These are the things you have already learned in your first standard uh, till your seventh standard. But when you write the numbers in this way, we are going to use only those uh, 10 digits from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whatever big is the number, however big is the number, we are going to use only these 10 digits to represent that. So, in old, uh, old days, in Roman uh, period, uh, the, they started representing the numbers in Roman format. For example, this was called 1. Even today we use this. 
3, 4, it goes on like this till 10. So, uh, this the Roman number system had some disadvantages because they did not have the concept of zero. So, this Roman number system did support counting, counting two numbers, counting things, natural things. It did support, but it was not so comfortable when we started multiplying, when we started adding, subtracting. The Roman number system did not uh, uh, support, did not prove to be a reliable system. So, what system we have today, the decimal number system, is the most reliable one. Okay, well, when the concept of counting started, counting, when man started counting things, for example, a shepherd has few sheep with him. He goes out with the sheep. When he goes out with the sheep, he has a certain number of uh, or sheep. The shepherd should know how many sheep are there with him in the beginning, in the beginning of the day. After all the uh, uh, feeding is over for the uh, sheep, when he returns back, he should confirm that all the sheep have come back to his place. So, what technique uh, is followed is suppose. He had certain sheets like this, let us say, these are all sheets. Let us say these are sheets. When the first sheet went out of, uh, out to the ground, immediately the shepherd introduced one stone, small stone or pebble into a bag. Suppose this is the bag, he introduced the first stone into the pebble, or, or, I mean, pebble was introduced into the bag. When the second sheep went outside, he introduced the second stone on the pebble. Similarly, the number of sheep went out of the house. With the shepherd, he had a count by collecting the same number of uh, pebbles, which is equal to the same number of sheep, which is with him in the morning. So he collected that bag, it was with him, till the evening. When he returned back, he reversed the process. He allowed the first sheet to go inside. Then he removed one stone or the pebble from the bag. And similarly, the second sheet went inside and the second pebble was removed from the bag. So the process continued in the end. Imagine what if uh, all the sheets are in, still there is one pebble remaining inside the bag. What is the mean, meaning of that? It means that one sheet is missing. So he closed the door and went back uh, into the forest and said he was searching for that particular sheet uh, which was missing. Suppose there are two, three or for example five stones or pebbles which are still remaining in the bag. What is the meaning? The shepherd understood that there are so many, I mean five number of sheep are missing in the forest. So he went back and uh, found where they are lost and he tried to bring them back. So the next day the same process continued. This is how the concept of counting came into existence. It's only a story. So, um, man understood the concept of numbers which is used for counting. In later days, man started using tally marks. You might have seen tally marks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 and this is 10. Instead of using stones, he started using tally marks. So, this was very easy to store for the future. For example, if you are using stones or pebbles, you cannot remember it, you cannot uh, register it, you cannot record it. Suppose in A standard we have uh, 60, 62 admissions this year. If I am using this system, I cannot record it. So, this tally system will to record the uh, counting. So, how many sheets were there on one day? Things 
sustain in any weather. If this system is followed, I can keep track of, the shepherd can keep track of the number of sheep every day when he went out and he came back. So the tally system was also used. So the Roman number system today use the system. Uh, just for your information, computers, uh, digital computers, they use uh, binary number system. They may not be using all this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, all these things. It will, it will use only 0 or 1. So only 2 it uses either 0 or 1. So because of only 2 digits, it's called as a binary number system. And we are using the decimal number system. We use our fingers to count. That's why it is comfortable to us when we are using a decimal number system. So that was the introduction about the numbers. Today we use numbers extensively in banking sector, in statistics, during the election, in all the fields of our life throughout the day, we cannot live without mathematics. So in our 8th standard uh, syllabus, you can see I have already written the topic play numbers. So in 8th standard, the topic is given as playing with numbers. Yes, we are going to play with numbers this year. How? When I wrote the number 0, there were 10 digits. I am going to write a number now. Let us say 523. This is a number. 523 is a number. It is a 3 digit number. 523 is a 3 digit number. So, this 3, it is a unit space. The place value of 3 is unit, that is nothing but 1. So, I write 1. Consider the next digit, 2. This is in 10 space. Similarly, the next digit 5, it is in 100 space. So, since this is a 3 digit number, I have to stop here. Suppose I have a 4th digit over here, for example, 7. 7 would be uh, taking up the place called 1000 space. So it will go on like that. So the place value of the digits are very important. Not only this number, any other number you take. 4 digit number, 5 digit number. You are supposed to know the place value of the digits. So I am going to write this in the box. Since this is a 3 digit number, I am going to put uh, provision for Digits. So first, I am going to write five, seven, two, and third is three. So if suppose I see these are the digits. Here I am going to write the place value as we discussed just now. The place value of three is unit. Unit is one. The place value of two is ten. The place value of five is one hundred. So. See what is happening here. I am using digits, the symbol of numbers, to represent a bigger number. 523. This is represented in normal form. This is represent, represented in normal form. Suppose I want to represent this in general form. Look at this. Is in normal form, suppose I am going to represent this 523 in general form, how do I write it? So in normal form it is 523, it is equivalent to, equivalent to write 5 multiply it with 100, its place value within the band of brackets. 
So I am writing plus followed by the next digit that is 2 multiplied by its place value another plus 3 multiplied by its place value. So you can see for each digit so as you saw here, the normal form of the number, the digits were written with its place value. I have taken the same example here. Yeah, now I am going to simplify this. You see what happens here. 5 into 100 is 500 plus 2 into 10 is 20 plus 3 into 1 is 3. Let me do a simple addition. 500 plus 20 is 520 plus 3 is 523 and getting back the same normal form. So, if you see this first line, the left side uh, part, this is the normal form of the number. The same number, if it is written with the product of its place value, then this is called the general form. So you saw today the uh, introduction to numbers, uh, different uh, symbols of numbers, Roman number system, the uh, use of uh, numbers in our daily life, how uh, the concept of counting started, the tally marks. And uh, at the end, uh, I uh, explained how uh, the place value of the numbers can be identified and how it can be converted from normal form to general form. And in our next classes, we will study more about this, more problems will be solved. Keep watching our videos. Thank you.